waiting for someone to come on. I'm not just like filming silent. <laughs> oh God. Right, you know what, forget, I'll just talk. So yeah, I'm up old um uh the Teague over there on the Tesco car park. Three hours free parking. Can't complain at that. Um TK Max over there. Are you Ted? I'm all, are you all right, love? Um, I've had a bit of a frigging nightmare, me. So listen, this is what's just happened. So today, um, a few people have been letting me know about the airing hounds and stuff, and I've filmed the airing hounds before, but um, never when it's been shot. So it turns out the airing hounds is now a victim of COVID. Now, one of uh, the chaps that watch my channel, I won't name him, he can make himself known in the comments if he wants. But he, he's been messaging me today, basically just saying, um, you know, it's done for the roosting. Um, I've just been up and I can't see. Hiya, Mick, love. You know what? It is. <laughs> it is charged. Um, but when you go live, you know, it's upset. That was one of the things I was going to ask. I'll, I'll ask it now. I can see, but it's no, it's no secret to me. My go lives are shite in terms of quality because my camera's shite. Um, I didn't think it were that bad. And I think a lot of it also depends on like internet connection and stuff. Like when I was in the graveyard the other day, I was watching it back and thinking, Jesus, don't remember it looking that bad, but then it were raining and I think that sort of affects it. Um, let's just get up on here. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. <coughs> yeah, I think the rain affects it. Oh, thanks, Ted. Um, anyway, listen, I'm not going to bore you with the ins and outs, but the fact is I need a new phone. Um, but I need advice on what to get. I just met a fella, actually, because I was just filming outside um, the Irwin Hounds, and he pulled up, and he had a chat with me, and he showed me his phone, and I can't remember what the bleed now. They called it now. He's actually subscribed to the channel, so if you're watching this, do me a favour, just let me know what the name of that phone was, because his phone's really, really impressive. Oh, the gimbal, right, the gimbals, the gimbals, the gimbals... It's been, it's been retired. Um, two things about it. One, it doesn't like it when I zoom out and it's really fiddly for me to zoom out. And even when I do, it flops over. And then I haven't been zooming out today. I thought, I'll just do a video with no zoom and, you know. Anyway, did it and then turned it off, turned it back on, turned it off to just have a break for a minute, make a phone call. And then when I turned it back on, it just went crazy on me and then started doing all these robot moves and then wouldn't sort of, it wouldn't configure and go normal. So I tried it a couple of times and it just wouldn't do it. So I've took my camera off. I've put the gimbal in the bag and it's going back to Amazon because I don't like it. But I was saying in my film, um, Clark, from the Urban Collective and if you've not seen the Urban Collective channel, I highly highly recommend that you go and watch it immediately because it's absolutely brilliant uh, you probably do already know him anyway because he's, he's quite popular but he was telling me about this gadget that um, that's quite good uh, again you know I've got a memory like a sieve so I don't actually know um, I brought you up here to show you the Oldham skyline yeah the urban collective yeah anyway I, I wanted to show you the skyline of Oldham you see this skyline here you got the hills there in the in the corner. I'll just you get the old famous finger out. So you've got the hills over there. You got a few churches. I'm trying to work out what that church is. I think oh that you know that church. It's the uh, it's the one at the top of Gladwick Road. That uh, top of Waterloo uh, Waterloo Street is it? And then I mean you can see right. I don't know if that's Wales over there, but you can see right over. The reason why I'm showing the skyline, there's a picture by a guy called Squire Knot. Now I featured him recently on the channel. He was a, an old photographer. He took the photograph for Joseph, the the um, town crier. That they, they made the statue that's in Alexander Park about that. Uh, from from his, his his photograph, sorry. <coughs> anyway, Squire Knot took this picture it's in Oldham Art Gallery it's um, a panoramic view of the Oldham skyline and I'm pretty sure it's probably from this vantage point and literally everywhere you see right across is uh, mills and literally I'm looking now and I can see one mill 
and that's about the, I don't know if you can see it in the dis, there it is, in the distance. Other than that, there aren't any mills anymore. We just, just get me as the bag. So, the gimbal, um, I find it really restrictive, to, really difficult to use. And it's like I say, it's just, it's just, it's just freaked out on me. So I'm sending it back. Oh, have you never, Ted? Don't, well, listen, don't worry, love. There's videos all over my channel, and what I'm going to do... Uh, oh, you mean... <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to do an up-to-date video on Alexander Park. I did one about two years ago, and it was before I got a proper camera. I did it on my iPad. But it's quite an interesting one, because it details... You start going through the front gate, and I tell you about all the statues, who built them. Uh, who the people were, where they buried, um, when the you know the different parts of the park were put in, what happened to the original statues, where did the rocks come from, you know, all sorts of stuff. And I really like the video. And I was going to do it again, but uh, I think I had to choose those are the ones. Yeah, I, you know what? I started off with graveyards because um, I've always had like a fascination with them because I've always found them to be very beautiful places with you know, the stones and stuff. And then from that, oh, obviously I've always had a keen interest in Oldham's history. I'm going to try and get down here now. <clears throat> yeah, from that, um, <laughs> you know what? Look around on me. Let's walk back to the Teague. Yeah, from that, I... Um, started taking an interest in the people that were in the graves and you know and then I, that's when I started discovering all these amazing discoveries you know these people that are long lost to history people they're not they're there in history but you know no one really knows about them so that's how the channel channel sort of got going and I can't get away from my roots I love I love the graveyards and as you know I was in Cheddarton graveyard the other day oh you're wicked are you really interesting very interesting uh, you know what? Actually, my uh, my mother's cousin, um, she's she's Wiccan. She's a practicing witch, um, and has been for I don't know as long for as long as I can remember. Uh, she lives over in Blackpool, but I know that she's. Uh... No, I've had a look for Clark. His gra graveyard. I can't find it. I had a look on his channel. The only one I could find were the you know the one that he's put on from these holidays. And then the one before that was uh, was a building. So I don't know where it is. Uh, I, I couldn't see it, honestly, I went on his channel, I couldn't see it, unless he's done it ages ago and I've missed it. But not recently. Do me a favour, if you can find it, email me a link at UK, uh, ukgraveyard at gmail.co.uk. No, I'm gone. <laughs> ukgraveyard at gmail.com, please. Yeah, that's it. Um, and then I can watch it. Um, had a bit of a nightmare today. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to go over it because it's boring. Basically, my work's computer broke, and um, I've been struggling to try and get it sorted, and it's pretty much kaput. Um, anyway, the reason why I came on the live, I wanted to show you the thing. I'm starving as well. That's why I can't. I can't think. I've had nothing all day since this morning. I had a bacon omelet. Um, yeah. So. Um, I've been up filming anyway. I've done it. It's going to be called Parliament Square. So Parliament Square in Oldham now, the vicinity of is the... Uh, Cough's brilliant now, Ted. Yeah, it's getting really good. Uh, yeah, Parliament Square. Um, you've got the air and ounce, you've got the greaves. The greaves is quite, quite a filthy past, you know. Uh, I mentioned it. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, how greaves got its name. Um and what else what else what else yeah i wanted to give you a few before and afters i'm gonna be dead straight with you i don't even know if i've got a video because i was i went on an empty stomach and it's probably the worst thing i can do because i can't concentrate when i'm hungry um so what i might do i might knit back up tomorrow and do the video again but i need to get my tripod as well because um i've left it at home so here's the old famous teague love this car you know i bought it uh, I used to be in the car trade, I used to be a car sales manager and, and, you know, independent manager and all that sort of stuff. And uh, when I came out of the car trade, I needed a motor. So I bought this one off my cousin. Uh, it was Tucking Part Exchange, he's got, he had a place as well. 
Um, I only paid a grand for it about three years ago. And I love it. It's top of the range. It's got leather. It's got, uh, got everything for the year. You know, it's an 08 plate. Um, but I'm thinking when I move, I might get something else. But then I think, well, if this is working, why? You know, uh, anyway, I'm doing a boring live. I'll leave it at that. I'm going to go and get something to eat and the video, if it's any good, will be uploaded later. If it's not, then I'll go and film it again. And on Sunday, I'll be uploading the video of St. Margaret's Church in Hollywood. So please keep an eye out for that. Uh, and let me know in the comments how, the, um, how it's going with no adverts. All right, thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Bye, 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 bye.